Howdy, everybody. It's the Soda Jerk with the SodaJerk.net and another soda review. Today's soda review is Fox and Park Grape. Grape, Fox and Park. Um, I did a few Fox and Park, Fox and Park. I'm going to do that over and over again. I did a few Fox and Park sodas. I did like an eight, a live stream last summer. So I got plenty more. I was going to wait to do another live stream of several more. They're really good, though. They're really tasty. I didn't want to wait any longer. And it's always in good taste. Always in good taste. So we're going to try grape, caffeine-free, natural, and artificial flavored soda. Fox and Park Beverages Incorporated, East Haven, Connecticut, 06513. You know you got a older town when the zip code starts with a zero. Let's read some ingredients. Contains filtered carbonated water, sugar, natural and artificial flavor, citric acid, artificial color, and sodium benzoate, a preservative. 34 grams of sugar. I got my flashlight. We do. Let's see if this, let's see if it lights up. That's too dense. That's a little better. Let's go through the thinner neck. There you go. Kind of a, it's a bit purpley. It's a little purpley. It's kind of like a red-ish as well. Anyway, Fox and Park from Connecticut. All their flavors so far have been very rich. Ooh, twist off. That's good. That smells amazing. It smells like grape candy nonsense. Nothing natural about that at all, even though it does say natural and artificial flavors. Picture a grape Jolly Rancher. It's like you took two grape Jolly Ranchers and stuck them into your nose. That's what that smells like. Man. Yeah. Actually, that is very good. It's not as syrupy as I thought it would be. I really thought it would like, it's a little bit cleaner taste than I was anticipating. I was expecting it to really kind of like stick to my mouth a bit. It doesn't. Um, back end is a little waterier than I anticipated. Still a great flavor throughout. A little bit of a sizzle. What I want, this is what I personally like in a grape soda is a burn. I want a caustic burn. I want sweet candy grape and then it just burns my throat in almost a chemical way that's what i like about grape sodas my favorite kind of grape sodas this doesn't do that which you might which you probably would enjoy that it doesn't caustically burn your throat but there's a nice sizzle there when i was a kid there was a grape soda called mighty grape and uh one of my for some reason core soda memories is we, I was at the neighbor's house, and they had a garage in the garage where they kept their sodas, and they had like a 12-pack of my tea grape, and we just sat there. There were about four of us. We just sat there and drank hot grape soda. Um, maybe we had two apiece. It was a lot of hot grape soda, but man, it was good. Mighty grape was good cold, too. But Fox and Park, once again, not missing deliciously flavored grape soda um it doesn't taste like real grapes this is definitely a candied grape soda but it's over it's not that sweet i mean sugar 34 grams of sugar it's not that sweet of a soda i mean you would think it tastes way sweeter but it doesn't i have a i have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch i don't know that i'm about to double up well i'm i don't use grape jelly <laughs> That's so passe. I'm a blackberry jelly person, so I think we'll be okay there. But Fox and Park grape, you can get your hands on it. Get your hands on it. You know what else you should get your hands on? That keyboard to go over to SodaJerk.net. Just flubbed it a little bit. SodaJerk.net is your one-stop shop for pop reviews. There's over a thousand soda reviews there. This is like 872 for me personally. 
We're going to get there. I'm going to get to a thousand individual reviews. You just wait, and then I'll be unstoppable. Subject.net. I haven't tried them all. Yet. <laughs>